<laughs> Me and Sam had a we had a complicated relationship growing up. He kicked me out of his place after I slept, walked, and pissed all over his room one time. <laughs> That's love. <laughs> That's love. Taylor, you have really, I think, made him into the man we all know today. And that's just having to deal with the kid. That's rough, yeah. And so I can't think of a better couple to go into forever than you two. One night, not long after we first moved in together, we sat on the floor of our apartment laughing hysterically, and I don't know at what. And I remember thinking in this moment that I wanted to spend the rest of my life laughing this way with you. It was in many of these moments that I knew that it was you. And while love is easy during life's most joyous times, it's in the challenging times where our love grew deeper tested by distance, school, the death of a beloved pet, and residency during a global pandemic. I vow to follow you through life's lowest lows and highest highs, and to continue following you around the house, closing all the cabinet doors and turning <laughs> off the lights. I vow to not only listen to you, but to truly hear you. And it's really hard not to when U of A basketball is on. <laughs> and finally, I vow to fight hard for our love and to continue fighting over who Willie loves more. As we have for the past eight years, I know we will continue to surprise, inspire, and support each other. Quite simply, I have loved growing up with you, and I look forward to growing old with you. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> This looks so nice. Thanks, <gasps> so pretty. <laughs> I, I, love you so much. <laughs> I know I say this every day, but I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> you support my hopes and dreams and give me confidence to do whatever I set my mind to. You acknowledge my strengths and accept my many faults. You challenge me to be the best version of myself and to be a better man. There's still a part of me today that can't believe that I'm the one who gets to marry you. So today I vow to honor you, to respect you, to support you, and encourage you. I promise to always choose you, to fight for you, and to love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. You're my best friend and the mother of our dog, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the luckiest person on earth to call you mine. By the power vested in me by the state of Arizona, I now pronounce you husband and wife. It's interesting for me, I have all girls at home, as most of you know. As far as Tim goes, he is one hell of a young man. And I've got to know him really well, and I really do love him. And my daughter loves him, and that's all that matters to me. And now I want to talk about Taylor. She's my firstborn, and I've been smiling since the day she was born. I love her to death. I'll do anything for her. I'll do anything for Tim. To Tim and Taylor, we love them all. Great day to you. We are gathered here today to take you back just over 22 years ago when mom and dad brought home two little alien looking children, Taylor's worst nightmare, and the girls that would steal her beloved playroom. <laughs> Tim is the brother we never had, the son dad always wanted. Basically, you've watched us grow up, and well, Tim, we know we can always count on you. Taylor and Tim, your relationship is truly admirable. You've stuck with each other through years of Tim's schooling, moving cities, living in a small casita, and look at you now. We wish you both nothing but the best in your marriage and future together. Cheers to you both, we love you.
Thank you guys so much for coming here today and supporting us on the most special day we've ever had together. You all mean so much to us and you've all played such a big role in our lives somewhere along the way and we're just so glad that you could share this moment with us today. Clap. Yeah.